folks, Steve here again, Synthrotech, and showing off a little more of our, our dirt filter. And what I'm going to be doing here is um, I'm using the little drummer boy uh, being drum triggered by our drum sequencer, SEQ1 MFB. And um, I'm going to show you some dry, what the drums sound like, and also what it sounds like through the 308. So right now I'm just going to turn up what the dry signal sounds like for just the drums. So let's hear that. This is without the 308. Okay, so a little bit um, subtle, kind of nice, uh, but let's turn up the 308 and kind of see how that changes things here. Now on the 308 here, I have the tone all the way up and the drive all the way up, and the drive is also being um, modulated here a little bit by the ADSR Junior envelope, and so you can kind of hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Let's also mess with the tone here, just kind of see if we can change it up here a little bit. Even without a lot of tone, there's still uh, quite a bit of distortion happening here. Let's turn the tone back up. Okay, so I've got some other elements also happening in this patch here too. I've got the Chaos NAND, which is being driven here in the SAG input by the Sequence 8. I've also got our DSM given kind of a nice um, long bass, a long decayed bass uh, uh, drum here. And um, that's about it, but I'm using the 4MS uh, shuffling clock multiplier to do some things and also the Sequence 8. So let's turn some other elements just into the dry signal here to see what they sound like. So that's our chaos NAND. We need some kind of lasery sounds. This right here is the DSM. That's giving us just a little bass, a little more bass. And if we put the last one here, this is the tip top. That's our dry signal not going to the 308. Let's uh, put the 308 in now. Kind of hear how that sounds differently. So everything is going to the 308 is kind of giving us a nice swashy sound here. And also using the filter here can kind of be a good place to start if you want to start off your um, your patch with the filter all the way up and then bring it back. Let's, uh, let's do that to see what it sounds like. 
is between a 308 going over our whole patch and this is what it would sound like if you had uh if you did not put the 308 in there you did not have that amazing distorted gnarly awesomeness that you ultimately want so